Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Matt and today I'm going to be showing you a really fast and easy way to add GTA 5 mods. People make long drawn out tutorials and I'm just going to save you the time put this in a brand new video for you. So without further ado, I got my buddy here named Ty. I'm going to put his uh, link in the description. He's going to help me out here. He's actually the owner of Cutthroat RP. Anyways, so what we're going to do is on the website, you're going to go to the search. You're going to go ahead and type in 5M. And what we're going to do is an add-on. So we don't want to do any Y maps or anything like that. This is just going to be, if you want to add a quick add-on to the server, just to figure out how to add your first mod to the server. This is mainly for beginners that don't have any experience doing this. It's less than 30 seconds to throw this on your server, hit restart, boom, it's already in the server. So it's a great step for server owners. Does add on single player, that's what the SP is, and then 5M from, you know, 5M. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download this. It's free, you don't have to sign in. It's a safe site, link is in the description. You're probably gonna need WinRAR. If you don't already have an extraction tool, I'll also link that in the description. Go ahead and open this. Close that. Open up the folder. And then you'll see in the folder that you extracted of your add-on, 5M and single player. That's why you have to extract it so you don't get the wrong one. Now that you have the 5M open, open it one more time to make sure that in the folder is stream and resource. If that's all in there, then go ahead and hit back. And if there's a readme, you don't need that. I'm just delete mine, you can keep it if you need help. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this, right? And now you wanna go ahead and get access to your server. If you have the server hosted on your computer, go to that folder where you launch the server. If you have your server hosted on a website, go to where you start your server. If you have any other way you have access to your server, you need to go to that folder. I actually set my server up on a Linux-based operating system on Debian 10, um, which is a little complicated for most people, but either way, I just right here through FileZilla, I have access to my server. And as you can see, and here is a bunch of mods I already have. So all I'm gonna do is drag my mod to the resources folder inside of my home. Well, you probably won't have home, but you'll most likely have 5M TX data. If you don't have that, you'll at least have a framework and then you'll have a resources folder after your framework you use. So all I'm doing is just dragging my mod into the resources folder. Wait till it's completely moved over. Don't wait till it's completely moved over. Don't mess with it. You know, just wait till it's done and then go ahead and follow this next step. All right, so I got my buddy Ty here. Here's his server. Uh, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the uh, server config. So in this case, we don't have start, which some servers usually have start then a mod name. In our case, because I think we use QB core, hit enter after the last one. You're gonna type in ensure or start, do space, and you're gonna do the exact name of the mod. So let me get the name for you, hold on. Okay, it's INT, uh, capital no I. capital I, no capital I. Okay, INT underscore and then weed underscore, underscore. So you, yep and then do weed. yep and then all you want to do after that is go ahead and save the file and once the file saved you want to restart the server and that's all you have to do to add a mod so we're going to go ahead and connect to the server real quick and once we're in we'll go ahead and show you where the mod actually is in so you can see it working all right all right all right so i mean it works you guys can see it's it's in the game no no bull crap 